Hey guys, okay, this is going to be a part two of a continuation of the 20 K-pop albums we are unboxing, so let's just jump right into it, because, yeah. <laughs> so, this one, open like this. Ooh. Two version album, uh, it's a special um, unit album with Moonbin and Sana. They are, they are two members from a group called Astro, mm -hmm. so they did a solo con um, thing together. I really didn't think these would be that big. I thought they would be like half the size. Oh, okay. Do Why is that? I don't know. False advertising. Uh. <laughs> and hi, welcome back to me terribly voiceovering my albums. So we have the first one, which is the um, Why Fade In album. And yeah, we have Moonbin and Sign on the front, which is very nice. Um, as we open the album, yep um yeah i'm just waiting so we have a sticker pack that comes with the album which has both the members as well as posted cards so i found these really nice um they come in black and white as well as like in color so yeah different like photography style as well and the lyric booklet which is nice um yeah it has all the songs inside so yeah and then we have why is that upside down okay <laughs> and then we have a photo cut of Sana, very nice. I love the, his hair that he had for this comeback, it's really nice. And then we have a photo cut of Moonbin, yeah, in a lace shirt. Wow, okay, yes. And as we go into the album, if I will open it, we have the CD that's right on the front as well. And, um, yeah. Okay. Why did I close it? O okay, I didn't show you. And blur. Nice. Okay, here's the photo book. So this is everything inside, all nice photography and as well, it's a nice beige comeback as well as, well as a black and white. <laughs> Sorry, ignore that. Um, yeah. Oh, I love the pole blue. Well, I just knocked that out of the frame. Disrespectful. Why? Okay. And now we're onto the Fade Out album, which is all black. You can see the ring light in this, like, on the album, so apologies for that. Yes, it's a very nice black aesthetic opposed to the other one. So yeah and we have another sticker pack that comes in like black and um, more post-it cards yes I like the photography used within both the um, albums I don't know I just find it really nice and I feel like I can use it for my own work so yeah um, we have another photo card of Sana which is very very nice I was very happy to receive this as well as another one I got a lot of Sana I was very happy with that but like hey I can't complain okay now we open the album we have the CD and the outside and all the songs are on the other side as well as we go through the photo book um it's mainly like the last one bit beige bit black and white but yeah i really do like the photography used in this so it's very inspirational but yeah i want to use it in my own work if i can and yeah there's more and that's it for this album i think the coder would like this it's hard to kind of see from here, but yeah, there's like textures on it. Yeah, the the type is in texture. Yeah, no, yeah. I can see it. It's, what's it called? Emboss? Because the boss is... Deboss. I'm, I'm failing the design. <laughs> yeah, because deboss is... Deboss is the one where it's like in the uh, paper. Emboss is like up on the yeah. paper slightly. I... Yeah. <laughs> smile away, boys. <laughs> smile away. <laughs> We go on to the boys, which is these are three version albums. So um yeah. This is a fifth mini album, the chase chase. I also want to know why is there like a little thing at the back? Hmm. And we have three versions of this album. This is very nice. We're gonna start off with the black chase. I say the chase because that that's another group's album name. So it's also oh. a TV show. Oh, oh yeah it is. I just love the opening of it, just like, the Ooh. way it's packaged is very nice. Yeah, I like how it's got like the little holders inside too. Mm. Yes, you're gonna see me fangirling a lot over these albums because I generally do, well, I did fall in love with these. Oh, this is cool. It's like one of those ones that changes when you, the different... Oh, yeah. Go up and down. Yeah, there you go. Yep, so we have Jacob as one of these cards. I'm not sure what it's called, but it changes when you shift it, as well as Younghun. It has like the date of the album as well, so that's pretty awesome. And yeah, we have a post of like postcard of Eric as well. And onto the photo cards, we have Sung Woo. I honestly, 
he's another one of my bias records so I was very happy to receive him and I got him twice if I will show it there we go I like this photo because like the pose and the sunglasses well, the glasses they're very nice and now this photo book I I want to make something like this this is so cool the aesthetic the boys have one up themselves again Yes, as you saw, I generally fell in love with this whole photo book because the aesthetic of how things are laid out, the photography used, the style of the photography, I just love it. I want to make something like this in the future. Like, it's very much my style, simple, minimalistic. It's just nice all together. Yeah, I, yeah. I love the whole <laughs> black pink aesthetic. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's so cool. But I think, I think, yeah, you're right, Jada. It's, um, it spins or something. Look. <laughs> You're supposed to spin. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of see something. Oh, up the top. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. At the top it spins. Yeah, so my poor example of showing you how this spins, the top of the, the top spins and it shows you different names of the what the members say. So, yes. Onto the gold album. Yes. Fangirl part two. Okay. Oh! Too much is happening at once. What's going on? Okay. Um, first of all, I get <laughs> we get that thrown in my face. Ooh. So that's a very nice photo of all of them. Yes. Um, I received Q as a photo card as well as Q being the little shifting card. I was very, very happy with this because Q is my bias. Um, and then we have a photo or postcard of Kevin, which is very nice, the Canada boy. So okay, photo cards. Oh no. What happened? <laughs> I got Q, which I'm very happy, so I got, um, yeah, I'm blushing, <laughs> but I got my bias wrecker as well, which is Sang Yun. I'm now functioning. <laughs> yes, as you watch me slowly die, I received Sang Yun as a photo card. This man has been wrecking me for years and so, and I got him as a photo card. But I did get Q, which did manage to save me, but I do love this man as well. I was very happy to get this as a photo card. Now onto the photo book. Also, I wanted to make aware I'm not doing the happy counter anymore. I kind of lost count, so you're gonna have to forgive me for that. Yeah. So as we go into the photo book again, with the style of the photography, the layout of the whole like magazine kind of style, I did fall in love again. And like they use black and white as well. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. On to the next one. Please let my heart not be stolen, which is the concept of this whole album. I loved, okay, I really love this photo. Ooh, I like the black and white, like, Unus Anus vibes. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yes, this album did give off Unus Anus vibes. We have Hung Jae, which I forgot to mention, as a photo card, as well as Eric as a shifting photo card, which is very nice. I did like this a lot. And um, we also had Eric as a postcard, which is very nice. And the photo cards, one by one. I got Sung Yun, which is my bias record, and I'm gonna keep blushing. Because in K pop, you have a bias mm -hmm. who is like someone you like, and then the bias record who you adore, but you don't want them to be a bias because you're just like, I like him though. <laughs> it's like, I like him, but I like him too. Yeah, he my man. Yeah, he he my boo. boo. And as you can see, I got Sung Yun again, which made me over the top happy, as well as wrecked me a little bit inside. But I did get Jacob as well as a photo card. And yeah, I was very happy to get him because I don't get him often as a photo card. Now on to the actual, like, we got Young Hoon for the little spinny thing again. Okay, on to the photo book. It does give off Unasana's vibes, like Jada said, but apart from that, I really did enjoy this whole aesthetic with the chains, the red, the red, black and white, like, that whole thing. I just loved it so much. It's so inspirational. I want to use this in future design work, so yeah. <laughs> Next we have the four set of Monster X's Fatal Love. There seems to be like a love theme throughout most of these albums. Oh shit, yeah. Okay, for these albums we couldn't even fit them into frame, so like we're trying our best here. Onto the first one, which is a red holographic album. I've been waiting for these albums for so long. Monster X is my alt group, so I was very, very happy to get these. So we had a sticker pack from the album and Dew Honey as a cardboard kind of photo card, which is very nice. There's the back of it. 
and I believe this is a bookmark of Minhyuk. It was very nice. It's kind of like a file kind of set it and yeah, I don't want to damage that. That is so pretty. Um, okay, so why my hands are shaking because I just saw who it was. Oh no. It was like, okay, so we have I am, who is my bias, very much so. Daddy? No. Um, <laughs> we're not putting that. Yes, from what you could see, this is I got I am as a photo card, which made me so happy. I generally do love that man. He's my bias. And then we have another shifting photo card of Minhyuk. I've been getting these a lot re recently. Um, yeah. I'm not complaining though. Here's the CD. It's in the back of the album. Um, I think now we're going to go through a couple of the pages. So yeah, we have a whole red aesthetic going throughout this whole album, which is really nice with like the tones of pink and orange. It's, I don't know. This whole album, I don't know. I really do like it. It's, oh, I don't know what that is. It came with the album. You scan it. Yeah. I'm um, going through more of the pages. I'm just trying to find the best photos that I thought came from the album. Um, yeah, we have G Honey. It's almost pink though. Yeah. It's like a rosy red. Yeah. A rosé. No. A rosé. Yes, onto the second version. It's kind of a peachy, rosy red aesthetic to the album. So yes, as I get everything out, I will now show you. Um, there's another sticker packet that was kind of more red in tone from the last one. And then we have a Dew Honey bookmark. And then um, a Shonu hard copy photo card, as well as Shonu photo card, which was very nice. And a shifting Kian um, photo card. I don't even what to call those, so like I'll probably look it up later. Um, yes, and here's the album. The type they use for this as well, so nice. It's really a red theme going on as well in this album. And yeah. I know the photography I really want to try this sometime it's just so nice so next we have the holographic third version of the Monster X series of Love Killer so we have the holographic version which is so pretty in the light just look at that shift very nice simply would be proud okay and then we have more of the sticker packs this is a black and white version of it um, and then another Juhani bookmark and um, a Minhyuk like cardboard cutout not cutout but card and a Minyak photo card. And another Minyak shifting card. I was blessed with Minyak in this album. Um, yeah. I love the whole vibe of this album. Because, as you'll see... This is a nice... He's got glasses on. I don't know how to feel. I feel attacked. Look, he's got, he got glasses on. He had glasses on, which made me so happy. It's just... It looks so good on him. Um, here's more photos from it. The sport cars kind of photo shoot was very nice. I know I could never do this, but I will appreciate it from this album because, like, where the heck am I going to get a sports car to take photos in? But, yeah. Okay, and now on to the last album, and then I'll go through posters, and then we are done. And last album of the Monster X series is, again, another holographic, but instead of the whole album, it's just the text. So... Yeah, oh, this was surprisingly easy to open. So yes, as you heard, this is the last album from the set. Another holographic, which is so nice to look at. Um, as we go in it, we have another sticker packet with an inverse black and white kind of theme. Another Jude Honey bookmark, which is very nice. And then this. Oh god. For the hard cut. <laughs> we have I am, but... Ah. Ah. Ah, indeed. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you could tell. I was very happy to receive this photo card. Just, just look at it. It's so nice. And then we have this of Hyangwon. It's so nice. I like the white that is in the photo card. And then the shifting one of Hyangwon. Very different. Nice to switch it up a bit. And then the photography. The layout of this album is very, very nice. Like, <laughs> ignore that. Just look at the style of this whole album. I kind of want to do this as well, like the same with the boys. It's just so pleasing to look at. Just like the inspiration that comes from this is so nice. I'm very happy with this. And yeah, thank you for listening to my voiceovers. They were probably terrible, but enjoy. So those conclude all the 20 K-pop albums that have been unboxed. Yeah, sorry if it's a bit bumpy and sketchy. This is my first time doing this, but I really do hope you enjoyed it. And leave comments below um, who, if these are any of your favourite groups and which album was your favourite. Personally, I would say the, the 
the boys album, the reset, the stealer. This is my favorite just from the design they have done with the album itself. And yeah, I don't really have a least favorite of design wise for the album. They are all perfect in their own way. So yes, I'm very happy. Counter, go. <laughs> Counter. <laughs> so, hope you enjoy. Whee!